XRP supporters are reportedly making efforts to get the United States Securities and Exchange Commission to withdraw its appeal in the Ripple case. The strong conviction held by the XRP community that the SEC is the source of market volatility and uncertainty is reflected in this rise. Their argument is that the appeal is in direct opposition to the declared objective of the SEC, which is to safeguard investors and establish a stable cryptocurrency market. Additionally, the XRP Army has created a Change.org petition urging that the Commission withdraw its appeal in the ongoing Ripple case. As of the time that this article was written, the petition has received about 10,000 signatures from individuals. As the ecosystem surrounding digital currencies is currently in a state of confusion and uncertainty, advocates are encouraging the Securities and Exchange Commission to dismiss the appeal, which appears to be without merit. The petition details the four years of work that the XRP community has done to maintain Ripple's legitimacy. The petition asserts that the actions of the SEC have caused unneeded instability. According to the petition, the ongoing legal dispute has impeded market expansion and cast doubt on the efforts of the Securities and Exchange Commission SECC to promote fair markets. Furthermore, the petition asserts that the digital currency market is currently plagued by an air of uncertainty and an unnecessary layer of complexity as a result of the SEC's frivolous appeal in the Ripple vs. SEC final judgment. I. T has stated that the Securities and Exchange Commission CC has apparently submitted an official appeal to the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit last week, as stated by sources. Previous to this, in the month of August, the District Court issued a decision that the claims made by the SEC contain errors in the law. It has been reported by the Ripple community that this catastrophe has been detrimental to Ripple as well as the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. When this appeal is taken into consideration, it is possible that decentralized banking and other blockchain technology would be hampered in the future. 5. The argument presented here is self-explanatory. Let's put an end to the Ripple v. SEC final ruling and the SEC's appeal that has no basis in reality. After that, the petition goes on to explain why it is so important to put an end to the appeal that the SCSCSC is making. The repercussions of this case extend beyond Ripple and the people who make up its company. The XRP Army has presented a number of points, one of which being the tremendous uncertainty that has arisen as a result of the Ripple lawsuit. Uncertainty exists for investors on the impact that these court rulings will have on the value of XRP and other crypto assets. T. The SCCC would be doing the cryptocurrency market a favor if it abandoned its efforts to restore stability to the industry, according to the XRP Army, which is a firm believer in this notion. In order to maintain the stability of the market and safeguard the interests of Ripple as well as the cryptocurrency industry as a whole, the SSC must put an end to its completely unjustified appeal. In its final paragraph, the petition makes a vehement demand that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC cease its legal procedures. The demand made by the XRP Army that the SEC reconsider the appeal over the Ripple case has garnered a significant amount of momentum, with almost 10,000 people already joining the cause itself. I Some people have asserted that supporters of Ripple have mentioned that the Securities and Exchange Commission ought to withdraw the action since it is detrimental to the cryptocurrency industry as a whole and is not essential. They have high hopes that Ripple and the digital asset market as a whole will experience greater clarity and stability as a result of the decision to conclude the appeal. The petition is a manifestation of the discontentment that exists among the XRP community regarding the legal measures that have been taken by the SEC against Ripple. It may be concluded that the demands made by the XRP army to the SEC illustrate the significance of stability to cryptocurrency investors. For the sake of gaining clarity and direction in this situation, they would want to steer clear of legal measures that may potentially have an effect on the value of their digital assets and the sentiment of the market. Through the passage of time, Ripple's narrative will be revealed. In spite of the verdict, attorneys continue to have no expectation that SAC will settle. In response to the orders issued by the court, Bitcoin advocate and attorney Bill Morgan has made a request to Ripple for $125 million, subject to the approval of the requisite appeal by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Despite the fact that the Supreme Court ordered Ripple to pay $125 billion in order to secure the legitimacy of its cryptocurrency products, an informal appeal to the Securities and Exchange Commission is being proposed by the attorney as a potential means of resolving the issue. And supporter for cryptocurrencies named Bill Morgan stated that the coin was given a reasonable opportunity to be heard. The United States Securities and Exchange Commission SE initiated legal action against Ripple in the year 2020, asserting that the corporation had committed the act of selling XRP tokens as unregistered securities. In a precedent set by the Supreme Court, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC voiced its dissatisfaction of the decision made by the court, arguing that it violates securities regulations. In a preliminary notice of appeal, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC announced that it intended to oppose the ruling yet. Despite this, it continues to be open to the idea of reaching a settlement with Ripple. Nevertheless, Bill Morgan is of the opinion that a settlement is extremely unlikely to take place. Based on her statement, she asserts that the SEC's aversion to cryptocurrency would render any settlement untenable. Issues that are brought up in an appeal may be addressed by Ripple and the SEC.
According to Bill Morgan, who is providing some insight into the potential outcomes of a settlement, the following is what might happen. The conviction that the Securities and Exchange Commission will not make the required appeal to explain and classify the asset in question is one that Bill Morgan continues to hold. Indeed, he asserts that the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC may only appeal to programmatic sales. Additionally, he brought up the fact that Ripple has the opportunity to cross-appeal on injunctive and institutional sales that include the classification of XRP as either a security or a digital asset. Ripple faces further legal challenges as a result of the appeal filed by the SEC. Those who are interested in cryptocurrencies are particularly enthusiastic about the most recent developments in the investigation into the XRP issue, James K. Felton, a well-known attorney, has confirmed that the appeal that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has filed against Ripple has been transferred to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals. A number of XRP aficionados have expressed their opinions in response to this new development, with some of them aiming their remarks toward Chris Larson, the co-founder of Ripple, and Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of the company. Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson were named as executives of Ripple in the most recent appeal that was submitted by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. This news startled the cryptocurrency industry. Initial statements made by the agency on the two policemen were not backed up by any evidence that could be considered credible. In response to the most recent appeal, the Securities and Exchange Commission has issued a notice of appeal. This is a result of the most recent turn of events that has occurred. Within a short period of time, concerns over the demand liquidity solution for Ripples have once again surfaced. A number of different groups have expressed skepticism regarding the influence that Odell's sales have had on the claims that have been made against Garlinghouse and Larson. According to the statement delivered by Bill Morgan, all sales are unrelated to the allegations that have been made against the executives, despite the fact that they are a part of Ripple's commercial operations. Ripple's idle sales, which are a component of their commercial operations, were not included in the claims that were made against other CEOs. The high bill that John Miller received, Stuart Alderati Jr., Ripple's general counsel brought up the possibility of a cross-appeal in the conversation last week. There is a significant number of people in the cryptocurrency industry that are very opposed to the decision that was made by the SEC, and the market is waiting with bated breath to see how this appeal is resolved. It is possible that the strategy to retarget executives presented by the Securities and Exchange Commission will have an impact on the ruling and strengthen Ripple's claims. There have been recent developments that suggest that holders of XRP could be in for a protracted legal struggle. Recent decisions made by the Securities and Exchange Commission CC are being closely monitored by the Ripple community, which is striving to comprehend the SEC's reasoning and long-term objectives. The resolution of the challenges is something that a great number of people have been suggesting. The decision that is reached in this litigation has the potential to have a huge impact on the future of XRP in the cryptocurrency market. The notice of appeal that was issued by the Securities and Exchange Commission shows that the agency intends to continue pursuing this action regardless of the outcome of the case. On the other hand, according to this procedure, a settlement can still be achieved within 14 days of the notice being granted. CI against Ripple is the case that is now being heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit. The docket number 242648 has been assigned to it. At the moment, this petition identifies Chris Larson and Brad Garlinghouse, both of whom are executives at Ripple, as ALS. The intricacies of the situation are dynamic and constantly shifting, and there has been no announcement made establishing a schedule for hearings addressing the CC's intentions. The Bitcoin community is filled with a great deal of speculation as a direct consequence of this. The fact that the agency has a long history of failing to substantiate claims against Ripple's senior executives, which has resulted in greater scrutiny, may indicate an effort to evaluate previous data and maybe explore assertions that were previously dismissed, according to some analysts. Despite the fact that Brad Garlinghouse is no longer active in the litigation profession, Mark Felgel, who nonetheless served as an attorney for the Securities and Exchange Commission, claimed that the agency ought to reconsider the choices it had made in the past. Those who continue to advocate are understandably disappointed. As a result of the Securities and Exchange Commission's decision to dismiss a lawsuit against them in the past, some individuals have even questioned the latter's current position. Curtis Bully, an attorney who specializes in assisting clients in